happy Thanksgiving, guys. What a crazy week it's been. It's a short week, so we're kind of behind, but we're getting it done. Um, we're thankful for my husband. So kind and sweet. He's a sweetheart. Anyway, um, I'm going to meet Aaron right now at a property. We laid sod at, and unfortunately, we got the tail end of sod web worms in that grass. We received it that way from, from the sod farm. And unfortunately, we were not able to stop it in time. By the time we got someone out there to treat it, the grass was gone. All gone. And every muscle must be torn. Luckily, very luckily, the homeowner was really nice and offered to pay a third. We're eating the other third, and uh, the sod company who sold it has offered to pay a third. So it's not going to be as big a hit as we thought it would be, but it's still time, and time is money. We laid this yard in, um, in, in August, September. And here in Northwest Florida, that's um, about the worst time for sod web worms. They were really bad this year. So all of this damage you see happened within about 14 days of laying the sod. The dead grass, um, it's, uh, you know, obviously doesn't have the worms in it anymore. We'll get a video of that next year uh, when we come across some worms. Um, but what they do basically is they lay their eggs right here on the bottom of the blade of grass. You can see them; they're little greenish eggs. And uh, when they hatch, they start eating the base of the leaf right there, and uh, it makes the grass turn like this while they're doing it. They basically drain it all out and uh, kill the blade. Oh my gosh, I'm looking very windblown. Um, so now I have to go over to a property uh, where they're cleaning up leaves. They ran out of garbage bags. So I am the gopher today, but leaves for days. So they definitely need some garbage bags or they won't be able to get anything done. So. <laughs> 